Joe is there. G.I. Joe is there. G.I. Joe is there. It's G.I. Joe against Cobra the enemy, fighting to save the day. He never gives up, he's always there, fighting for freedom over land and air. G.I. Joe is the code name for America's daring, highly trained special mission force. Its purpose, to defend human freedom against COBRA, a ruthless terrorist organization determined to rule the world. He never gives up, he'll stay till the fight's won. G.I. Joe will dare. G.I. Joe will dare. G.I. Joe will dare. G.I. This is Leader Joe calling command ship. This is General Franks to Leader Joe. General Franks to Leader Joe. Is the area clear? Yes, sir. The position is ready for war games. Commander, they'll discover us if we remain here much longer. In a few minutes, they'll be too busy to notice, Destro. Bah! Shoddy workmanship. If you bought it from me... No one invited you on this mission, Destro. And what is this mission? You'll see soon enough. Now silence. I want to hear this. We'll commence at exactly 1000 hours. Will your team be ready? Yes, sir. The Joes are really on the ball, eh, Erickson? Mm, yes, sir. <laughs> Enthusiastic, young man. Leader Joe to Deep Six, are you in position? Deep Six and Torpedo in position and ready to provide backup assistance. G.I. Joe is the best we've got. As head of the Pentagon Budget Committee, General Howe, I'm sure you'll be impressed with their performance today. They always impress me, Colonel Sharp. I'm most interested in seeing the USS flag in action. You won't be disappointed, Admiral. Binoculars, please. You're quiet today, Erickson. I'm fine, sir. Yeah. She's a beauty, all right. Come on, doll face. I know a little cafe in Port where the spaghetti is great and the lights are dim. Let's you and I get together after... Let's not! And pretend we did, okay? Leader Joe to carry your flag. Carry your flag to Leader Joe. Permission to land. Landing pad clear, Leader Joe. Scarlet? Yes, Duke. Scramble the Sky Strikers. I want them in the air at exactly 10 hundred hours. I'm on my way. Sound the klaxon, shipwreck. Scarlet! Give them your best. I'll sink one for you, shipwreck. Better get a move on, Wild Bill. Hey, what's the hurry? Y'all got at least uh, two minutes left. Everyone, your attention, please. I know this is just for show, but the top Pentagon brass are watching on the command ship. <laughs> so let's show them what G.I. Joe can do. Joe! Joe! All systems on! Take us to the rendezvous point. But you're heading directly for their command ship. Where Zartan waits for us. Sartan? If this is one of his schemes... Sartan and I created this plan. Keep your weapons and your high and mighty airs to yourself. We're going to destroy G.I. Joe without you. Indeed. But first we will humiliate them, destroy their spirit. Then we'll lead them to their doom. Let's go, team! Right behind you, Duke! Don't forget old Wild Bill! Bring it in your ear! <laughs> Let's knock him out of the water! <laughs> These are my synthoids. Perfect imitations of human beings. And completely artificial. 
made from genetic engineering chemicals you bought from me. And they will follow orders without question. How convenient. Synthoids, worship me. Hail Cobra! Hail Cobra Commander! <laughs> Let the attack begin. Ready! 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 Fire! What happened? I don't know. Regroup! Incredible explosions. But they missed the ships entirely. There's something wrong. Look! must have jammed the missile control devices. I'll have my gunners open fire. Sorry, Admiral. What's Ow. this? I can't let you do that. Zartan! Time for a nap, gentlemen. <laughs> Duke, are you all right? I'm okay. Continue to counterattack. G.I. Joe will return after these messages. Now, back to G.I. Joe. Wild Bill to Deep Six. Duke's gone under. Okay, Wild Bill, we're on our way. Cobra more rays. Now, what are they up to? G.I. Joe! Have a taste of this! Eat missiles, fang features! Sonar search in progress. Found him. He's directly under his parachute. Roger. Move it out. Excellent. 
hurry. The smoke won't last much longer. Wild Bill, see if you can get those mores, will you? Yes, ma'am! <laughs> Accomplished, Commander. Excellent. Take her down. Hey, Duke! General Franks wants to see you aboard the command ship. On the double. Sergeant, I'm holding you responsible for this disaster. Sir? But General Cobra... If your team were up to snuff, you'd have stopped Cobra before we were nearly killed. Return to the land base. You're of no use here. Colonel Sharp, we should investigate this senseless attack. Request denied. Why do I feel like we just lost this battle? Now, let's not tell the others about this. All right, Duke. The first blow has been struck. Now we'll use their own authorities against them. We shall destroy them from within by creating one of their own. So, a synthoid of a G.I. Joe. Which one? Ah, that will keep. But we have a surprise for you, Destro. Show him, Zartan. With pleasure, Commander. A synthoid of me? Something bothering you, Destro? Kneel, slave. At least it obeys orders. Destroy it. Destroy it, or else... Easy, Destro. Allow me to demonstrate the neutralizer. No, not that city. Use the short distance setting or you'll destroy all the synthoids. Oh. I'm sorry about that. Well, how, how temporary. <laughs> Remember, Destro, even you can be replaced. <laughs> we shall see. Are you sure about this recommendation, General Howe? Absolutely. The G.I. Joe program is a drain on our resources. We must cut their funding in half. General Franks, you've always supported G.I. Joe. Do you agree? Yes. In fact, I think we should do away with them completely. All right. The President trusts your judgment, General. I'll put the changes into effect immediately. Oh, come on. Come on. Get on there. Oh. You okay, cover girl? How can we fix our equipment without parts? Need some ammo for target practice, Sarge. Sorry, rock and roll. That's all we can spare. This is it? You've got to be kidding. It doesn't make sense. Cobra never attacks without a reason. I agree they're up to something, but what? Hey, Junkyard. How's it going, fella? <laughs> you old hound dog? Hey, cut that out. Here, boy. Hope he wasn't bothering you, Duke. No, not at all. Hey, Duke, we've got problems. We haven't enough fuel to get one plane off the ground. I can't get parts for the tanks. And we're running out of oil and gas. Ammunition's down to nothing. I can't even get propane for my flamethrower. Duke, the whole base is falling apart. <sighs> I'm gonna get to the bottom of this right now. Look, Sergeant, your budget has been cut. You'll have to make two. But we need fuel, supplies, ammo. Take it up with General Franks. He's on his way there for an inspection. Cobra air attack! Coming in fast! Patch me into the intercom. Attention, G.I. Joe unit. All planes are grounded. Prepare to fight a ground-to-air defense. G.I. Joe headquarters coming into range. Fire at will! Close. 
the fire, mate! Red Knox. <laughs> G.I. Joe will return after these messages. Now, back to G.I. Joe. Well, now, three armed men against little old me. <laughs> okay, who's gonna be first? Well, actually, we're not here to fight. Oh, trying to improve your image, huh? a little. All right, let's get it over with. Ah, this guy's one tough cookie. Hold him, you fools. Zartan! You were expecting maybe Spider-Man? Oh. <laughs> you think you can handle him now, you meatheads? Isn't it, Cover Girl? Name is Scarlet. Oh, yeah, of course, Scarlet. That's what I meant. Hey, Duke, can you beat that? Cobra's turned tail and left. <laughs> hey, get that mud away from me! Mud? Who are you calling mud? I'm mud! Whatever, just get him away from me. Sorry, Duke, guess he's kind of excited. <sighs> if they come back, we've had it. We've got to do something. Uh, yeah, uh, something. Uh-oh, we got company. What's the meaning of this? Who's in charge here? Uh, uh... Duke, are you all right? Uh, sorry, General, but it was another Cobra attack. But look at all this damage! It's a disgrace! May I remind the General that you've cut off our fuel and supplies. Our planes have been grounded, and the... I don't care for your tone of voice, young woman. Cobra Commander, we have the prisoner. Ah, welcome. I do believe it's Duke, the famous leader of the G.I. Joes. I don't know what your game is, Cobra. But G.I. Joe will be on your tail faster than... My game is to make you and all your friends suffer before I crush G.I. Joe out of existence. As for a rescue, first they have to notice that you are gone! <laughs> That's me. I don't believe it. Watch closely. The best is yet to come. You G.I. Joes have destroyed millions of dollars worth of equipment and property! Wait a minute! We didn't ask Cobra to attack us! Yes, but if you weren't here, there would have been no attack at all. Your very existence is a threat to our national security! Is there something wrong with my ears? I could swear they're not working right. Mutt, is the General talking about us? Therefore, by the power vested in me by the President of the United States, I order you to disband. From this moment on, there is no more G.I. Joe. You can't mean it. No, Junkyard! <laughs> Get away! Get away from me!
me! No! Junkyard, back off, boy! Take that dog and have it destroyed! No way! General Franks, I protest! Scarlet, the General's right. We shouldn't interfere. Keep your hands off my dog! Shoot that deserter! But, sir, he's unarmed. Give me that gun! I'll do it myself! Soldier, you're under arrest for gross insubordination and striking an officer! Capture that deserter! I'll get him for you, General! Oh, Duke, the whole world's gone crazy! Continued on tomorrow's G.I. Jones. Don't move, Mutt! Get scarce, both of you! Hey, rock and roll. Thanks. The one they call Mutt! I want him brought back! Alive or otherwise! Hey, wait a minute. What did you hear? That would... No! General Franks, you can't... One more word and you'll join this karate-kicking traitor in the guardhouse! Take him away! Ah, Cobra's gotta be behind this. But how did they turn our own army against us? How badly do you want the answer, John? Enough to trust me? Uh, put it this way, Destro. I'd likely to trust a rabid weasel! I expected as much! You do not seem to grasp the full scope of my plan, Duke. Our plan? I designed the Synthoids. Yes, yes. The Synthoids are perfect, artificially created imitations of human beings. First, we duplicated your commanding officers and programmed these Synthoids to obey my every command. But our supreme achievement was replacing you, the G.I. Joe leader, with a Synthoid duplicate. Your team has been disbanded, disgraced, and <laughs> G.I. Joe will never rise again! Boy, you dirty... Oh. Take him away! Some more coffee. Yes, General Franks. Reports. Coffee. Ugh. Duke. Go ahead, Scarlet. Duke, we've got to reassemble the Joe team. Uh, right. Spread the word. We'll meet at midnight in the old bunker. I copy. Over and out. They're meeting tonight, General, and I'm invited. Good. I want a full report. Yes, sir. Yes, General. What the heck is that? Hey, somebody's signaling from the Pentagon. As you expected, Cobra Commander, they're meeting secretly to plan their mutiny. That's right. Keep blabbing till I can get a fix on you. Learn their plans, General. Then crush them. Cobra out! Got it! Oh, where... where are we? <whistles> Looks like Destro dumped us right in a nest of vipers. Down! 
The Joes who couldn't come have sent word they stand by any decision we make tonight. And we finally got a clue to what's going on. I picked up secret transmissions coming from General Frank's office. He's yapping with somebody here on the open sea. Only two possibilities then, a ship or an uncharted island. Nice place to put a cobra base, huh? But if we fail or if we're wrong, I say we go for broke. We need our Sky Strikers. And fuel to fly them. First, we got a spring quick kick from the Army base. Then, retake Joe headquarters and find out who Franks is talking to. Let's do it! Yo, Joe! Set your trap at Joe headquarters. Nothing can save them now. G.I. Joe will return after these messages. Now, back to G.I. Joe. The Joes plan to steal their own planes and attack our commander's island base. Let them plan. Joe headquarters will be their last stop. Duke, you haven't said anything. Oh, there you are. Look, I'm with you all the way, guys. Hmm, good. All right, there's no turning back. We're outlaws now. All right! Then let's get our weapons! Yee-haw! Yo, Joe! Help! Help! Oh, I'm so glad you're here. Hey, take it easy, miss. Everything's gonna be a... Yeah! The armory is straight ahead! Your equipment's out of commission. Clutch, how long is it going to take you to hotwire that thing? No time at all. Take her away! You got it! Hey, guys, don't forget old Quick Kick! Rock and roll, you got my weapons? You mean these? That's them. Ring the doorbell. Get those jets ready to fly. Listen to her guzzle that fuel been thirsty a long time. Everything's gone! Fortunately for you, I am here. Destro! Surround him! Cobra has replaced your generals with artificial replicas which serve Cobra Commander. What a load of malarkey! No! Let him talk. Their purpose was to turn your own nation's army against you and bring about your final and total destruction. But with my help, you can... Don't listen to him. He's our enemy. Duke's right, Destro. Why would you want to help us? Because Zartan dared to make a Synthoid replica of me. I made them destroy it with a device called the Neutralizer. Such consumption cannot go unpunished. 
He will learn a painful lesson when I bring his scheme crashing down around him. Destro's a liar! He's leading us into a trap! G.I. Joe, we have you surrounded. You have three minutes to surrender or we begin firing. Do you believe me now? We can't surrender. You must fly to my ship, the Valkyrie. I'll give you the coordinates. You have one minute left before we commence firing. We'll never make it. This will buy you the time you need. <laughs> Looks like those gators are gonna get a nice, hearty supper. P.I. Joe will return after these messages. Now, back to G.I. Joe. for hours. Destro got you too? No, Zartan. Did you hear about his synthoids? Sin which? It's a long story, Mutt. First, let's get to the Cobra launch base. All right, we've come this far with you, Destro. It's time you told us the rest of your plans. Patience, my dear, patience. Come inside while my drones refuel your planes. Duke? Where is he? This is Duke reporting. Duke, what are you doing? Oh, uh, Scarlet. Uh, just checking our planes. I don't trust Destro. Yeah, but uh, let's watch him together, okay? What next, Duke? Check it out! Hey, that's a Cobra pace! What are you doing? The one thing Cobra would never expect. We're gonna attack! Let's go for it! <laughs> the Cobra base is right about here. But it may be a trap. Trap or not, we're going. There is something you must know first. Something I tried to tell you before. One of you is a Synthoid. They've escaped? What about the Synthoid Duke? He tried to contact me once, but was cut off. Put the base on yellow alert! Yellow alert! Seal all exits! Hurry up! We're on alert! Hey, you guys aren't Cobras! <laughs> I thought you'd never notice. Let's split up here. We've got to find General Franks and the others. 
don't listen to Destro. He wants to create dissension among us. Where's his proof? Believe what you like. Your welfare is of no consequence to me. Just so long as Zartan and Cobra Commander learn how dangerous it can be to provoke my anger. Your planes are ready and I grow weary of your company. Please leave now. How did we end up here, General? Well, I don't know. Quiet in there. Yeah. Ow! Get us out of here. I knew you'd come. We've been in here a long time. Junkyard, are they the real thing? <laughs> Stand back. Formation of Sky Strikers coming in fast. Red alert! Red alert! <laughs> This is Wing Leader 1. Target in visual contact. Wing Leader 2, please confirm. Wing Leader 2, visual contact confirmed. Reckon that means they've confirmed sighting us. Ace! We're trapped! Stay out! They've got remote controlled cannons! Eject. So I lied. Now, where's the real Duke, you talker out? <laughs> okay, Scarlet. I'm tired of your meddling. Not so fast, you phony! Up, Synthoid. You heard her chemical breath. Pack it in. Don't listen to either of us. Make your own decision, Scarlet. Hold it, boys. If either of you makes a move before we figure out who's who, you're both dog meat. Junkyard, attack! <laughs> See you still in one piece, Duke. Likewise, Scarlet. Now let's get that synthoid creep. Don't go, Ace. We can't get past those lasers. Guess it's time to bring out the heavy artillery. Now, I had them in the palm of my hand. Cobra Commander. Duke, you dare to return? Don't shoot! I'm the Synthoid! The Neutralizer will prove who you are! Stop! You fool! Look what you've done! The device is set at maximum! You've sent all the Synthoids to their doom! Under our new organizational structure, Cobra must be recognized as our friend. Henceforth, all Navy personnel will be under the command of Cobra forces. And furthermore, these forces will be. You are to blame for this, Satan. Why do I ever listen to you? Duke, they're getting away. I'll go after them, but stop those cannons. They're controlled by the switchboard. Lift off! They got away. Yeah, but they... 
they'll be back. G.I. Joe will be ready for them. For your loyalty in the face of adversity, for your courage against overwhelming odds, I hereby restore G.I. Joe Special Missions Force to full operating status with highest military honors. Joe! Joe! Right here, I'll have her in a gym! The blueprints, the blueprints! If Cobra's to build more of these devices, we must have the blueprints! All right already, I got the bloody blueprints! And I got the matter transmuter! Then we're off! Come on! The matter transmuter is gone! Can't you get any speed out of this thing? We'll split up and rendezvous at the Redwood base. And you can account to Cobra Commander for the delay. Well, Destro, get on with it. This stolen videotape, Commander, was prepared by the Transmuter Ray's inventors to demonstrate its capabilities. So, the Ray can change the molecular structure of anything it touches? Precisely. Now, imagine a weapon based on matter transmutation. Imagine vaults or fortresses turned to, let us say, tissue paper. I've got the idea, Destro. What I haven't got is this transmuter. Patience, Commander, please. If I may remind your excellency, it was your choice to entrust the procurement of the device to Zartan. Of course I gave the job to Zartan. He's much more qualified than you in this area. Oh, yes. One more thing, Destro. If I were you, I'd watch that attitude. Zartan? Nope. Ain't seen hide nor hair of him. We're just freezing our toesies out here for nothing. I'm telling you, Lady J, being a G.I. Joe is ruining my life. I don't have time for nothing else. Why do you think I ain't got a girlfriend no more? She got sick of worrying about me all the time. That's why. Oh, put a sock in it already, will you, Steeler? Yeah, motion seconded. We've all had to make sacrifices to... Yeah, I know. But I still say this one's a wild goose ch... Hey, bogey's coming up fast. I know you want these man split, but take this instead! Terrible shooting, Zartan! Hi! What's the matter, old Flint? Up a tree, are you? <laughs> Laugh this off, happy boy! about that flick, if we live to have any. 
I don't get it, Airtight. How come headquarters thinks Cobra will try to get these transmuter blueprints again? Who cares? What's eating you? Ah, uh, not quitting, G.I. Joe. Hey, look, you had a close shave. You just spooked us all. You'll get over it. Uh-uh, I've had it. Nothing ever changes. Cobra hits us, we hit them over and over. Hey, uh, sometimes it does seem like there's nary an end in sight. So what's the point? If the battle's never gonna be won by either side, why bother fighting it? Whoa now, fella, I never said. Ready, you guys? We're nearing the rendezvous point with Flint and Lady J. Very clever, Dr. Renault. From the outside, ordinary grain cars. And inside, titanium armor plating to safeguard my transmuter research team while they carry on their work. This uh, mobile lab complex should provide adequate protection against Cobra. Our military liaison, General Wagstaff. General? General. Uh, now, if I may have the blueprints. Wait, we don't have them. The rest of our team will turn them over to you at the rendezvous point. You're supposed to know that. Freeze! This is as far as you go, Joes. Your new destination will be oblivion! <laughs> <laughs> Let us be rid of them! Come along, Lady J. It's time for you to be trained! <laughs> Lady! Kidnap Dr. Renault and General Wagstaff. Go back and see if you can find him, Cutter. Well, well, what have we here? Joe will return after these messages. Now, back to G.I. Joe. Oh, what happened? Oh. That, that transmuter gizmo went off and I, I guess we were knocked out. Hey, what, what happened to the Cobras? And where'd the train go? Never mind that. Where's the forest or the river? And yet it resembles where we were, at least structurally. What does that mean? See this chasm? That's where the river cut through the forest before. And that limestone bridge is where the trestle used to be. We're in the same place, but it's been altered by the transmuter. Then how long were we unconscious? Seconds? Minutes? Hours? I don't know. I'm getting the feeling there's something even weirder about all this. Ow! Yuck. Don't look like nothing on Earth I've ever seen. Hey, fellas, take a look at... Sounds like the buzzards have company. Whatever they are, they're circling. I can't get a good look at them, though. The sun's too bright. Turn cover! Cover? Like where? A gopher hole? Clutch to Joe headquarters. Come in, headquarters. Come in. Nothing. All I get is static. Worry about it later. After we shake that claw. Looks like we're home free. Come on. I 
I thought he'd never leave. Check this out, guys. Looks like our motor pool after a tornado. What do you suppose all this means, Flint? Who knows? Right now, all I care about is that awe striker. How's it look, Footloose? You're not gonna believe this, Flint, but whoever left her here left the keys, too. Yo, Joe! Where to, sports? We've got to find out exactly where we are and what's going on. Yeah, but in the meantime, we should call as little attention to ourselves as possible. Yeah, right. Be really inconspicuous. The engine's dead. Oh, swell. Can anything else go wrong? Wait, look. We're not completely out of luck. Hey, Flint, look! Just what we need. Transportation. We don't have any choice. Okay, Pops, we'll take eight of those bikes. Say, old-timer, about that barren stretch over yonder. That's a proving ground, young man. Oh, uh, yeah, government tests its weapons there. Weapons? What kind of weapons? Oh, everything from new strains of bacteria to the weather dominator, I reckon. The weather dom? Well, that explains that pink what's-it that stung you. You just stand right there, Sonny. Look straight ahead and hold still while we scan you. Hey! Transaction approved. Subject's retinal scan matches no known dissident, subversive, or enemy of state on file. Have a nice day. Oh, Herb, they look like good risks. Anyway, to answer your question, there was a rumor that the resistance movement had its headquarters out at the Proven Grounds, and that when G.I. Joe went underground, they hid out there. Uh, thank you, man. Yeah, uh, thank you for your help. Martha, you talk too much. Hey, come back here! This money ain't no good! It's U.S. dollars! Absolutely worthless! Hey, you know, I've been thinking. I think we were out more than a few hours, guys. More like years. I mean, resistance movement? Underground? Yeah, those old folks made it sound like snake breath beat the tar out of Joe and took over a long time ago. Come on! Yeah, sure, that's <laughs> you great. kidding? <laughs> Get <laughs> off it. Go ahead, laugh. But Uncle Sam doesn't have a weather dominator, remember? That's one of Destro's inventions. Come on, headquarters is the only place we'll get answers we can trust. I can't believe this. Kind of explains why nobody answered, doesn't he? Oh, no. It can't be. Permanently closed by order of Cobra Commander. Then it's true. Somehow we did a Rip Van Winkle. And while we were asleep, G.I. Joe was defeated by Cobra. And I wondered what difference did it make if Cobra won or lost? You may find out in the worst possible way, unless we get our base back. the place. We've got our work cut out for us. But first, let's get these snakes into the brig. Well, we got the generators going. And now that we got power to the computers, we know why we couldn't contact the other Joes. Our communication satellite ain't in orbit no more. Then we can't reach the ones that went underground? Flint, I think we may be the only ones left. Take a look. I called up the duty roster on the records computer. 
of roughly 50 active Joes, all but six are listed as missing in action. And of those six, three were lost. Casualties of the last war against Cobra. G.I. Joe will return after these messages. Now, back to G.I. Joe. Hanrahan, Timothy P. Codename, Blowtorch. Hauser, Conrad S. Codename, Duke. Katzenbogen, David L. Codename, Bazooka. Kibby, Albert L. Codename, Breaker. How can this be? Uh, I can't take it. I just can't. Dusty, Alpine, Bazooka. I'm never gonna see him again. How? Why? One way or another, we're gonna get the answers. I don't know. They've been gathering dust a long time. Hey, Flint! We got us some air power, too! What do you mean, too? Well, maybe they're a little rusty, but I think we can get them airborne. Well, what about the ground transports? Usable, I think, as long as we disguise it with a coat of paint. Then let's get cracking. Grunt, you look after Steeler and try to get the computers working again. The rest of us will do a little reconnaissance. This town seems familiar, but I can't see enough to be sure. At least they didn't torch the evening papers. Cobra Commander to deliver State of the Empire address tonight? What in the... The police? Somehow I doubt they just want to give us a ticket. The Dreadnoughts have become cops? I guess law enforcement ain't what it used to be. Gentlemen, I'm glad you're keeping your sense of humor. Surrender at once! Come out with your hands up! We repeat! Come out with your hands up! The bleeders! Fighting a fright for it, they is! We could fly over this countryside for days and still not learn a thing. Probably because we're going about this all wrong, Lady J. Yeah, now if we had an eye in the sky. A what? You'll see. Clutch, foot loose, 12 o'clock low. Take a look. That, that looks like the Mount Rushmore Memorial. But, oh my gosh, they've changed it. Clutch to Lady J. I found what I was looking for, a weather satellite. I've tapped into its cameras. I can patch your communication systems visual monitors into what I'm picking up. <laughs> the Lincoln Memorial's become a Cobra Commander Memorial? Yeah, and it looks like the United Nations has become one nation under Cobra. Cobra has conquered the world. I still can't believe any of this. Changes like these must have taken years to make. <laughs> I guess they lost interest. Hello. The date on this paper. It's the same as when we got blitzed by that transmuter, which means our lights couldn't have been out for long. But if we're not in the future, where are we? Not another time. Then... Another place, another world, another... Uh-oh, bail out! Anything damaged? Eh, nope, nothing. Except maybe the resale value of those cycles. Freeze, mates! We'll ventilate your ugly heads. But you didn't figure Cobra had the old headquarters bug now, did ya? Steeler, would you hand me that circuit board? Uh, oh. <laughs> not alive! We're not alive! Can't be! No! 
Oh, we must have died in that explosion. And now we've gone to the devil. Mistress, it's him. The one you called Steeler, I'm positive. Excellent. Get a load of this! No, Clutch. That's not New York. Not the one we know, anyway. And that's not our Washington below us, either. I don't even think we're on the Earth we know. I think when the transmuter exploded, it didn't change our environment. It blasted open a gateway into a parallel world and hurled us into it. A what? Another dimension or something, where some things are identical to ours, but others, such as Cobra's world domination, are very different. Cobra Rattlers on an intercept course! To be continued on tomorrow's G.I. Joe. Symptoms would indicate strain D bacterial infection, mistress. Then he was bitten, no doubt, by one of the mutant insects Destro breeds on the proving grounds. He'll need help. You know what to do, Layla. As you command, Baroness. You fools! And then you captured three survivors of the Joe team and allowed them to escape? They hadn't an ounce of respect for the law. Never mind. It doesn't matter. They won't get far. I'll see to that. Air Patrol leader to Destro. Destro here. We've got the Joes right where you want them, sir. Coordinates quickly. 11 degrees north by 40 east. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
but it's made of energy. Blast through it. Laser cannons. No go, lady. Their power's been drained. Mine too. But of course. Why else would we call this weapon the Parasite Matrix? <laughs> Clutch! Footloose, bail out! Kane, we're stuck! Then shoot your way out! Even the laser pistols? Dead as the cannons! Cobra's putting the squeeze on us! We'll be crushed! Joe will return after these messages. Now, back to G.I. Joe. Faster, or you'll do without your morning rations. Washington Wall into a slave labor camp. Heck of a way to solve unemployment. Here comes our ticket to ride. <laughs> Dreadnoughts may be cops in this world, but they're still stupid. I don't believe they let us get away with this. You are under arrest! Throw down your weapons! Surrender at once or be destroyed! Know what I say to that? This! Yo, Joe! Look! <laughs> Room 12, Your Highness. And Destro is unaware that you've turned him over to me. He's occupied with other business, Your Highness. Excellent. Dismissed. Welcome back from the dead, G.I. Joes. Tell me, where have you been hiding? You don't understand. We're not who you think we... No lies! No evasions! Speak! Or my centrifugal persuader will rattle the answers from you. At first, you will simply feel dizziness and the pressure slowly building. But as you spin faster, the pressure will increase until it crushes you to a pulp! Stealer! Come back here! G Grunt? Stay there, buddy. Don't move. What? What's wrong with me? You're sick. It worked, delirious. It looks like I knocked some sense into you. Help me, Grunt. Please. Easy does it now. You're gonna be all right. Mercy. There. 
They're Joe's. Poor devils. They, they must have got caught in one of Cobra's weapons test. Steinberg L? But, but that, that's Clutch's name. Graves? R.W.? <laughs> Graves? That's you, Grunt! Yeah, well, I know I ain't dead. Hey, these guys must have been the Joe team from this world. Yeah, that's it. That one? Who's that one? Pulaski. It's me. Me! Look, whoever you are. Don't be afraid. Neither you nor your friend will be harmed. You expect us to believe that? You must come with us so the Baroness can treat your friend for his fever. The Baroness? But your lies will cost you dearly. You are plotting treason against the Cobra Empire, aren't you? You're going to provide me with some sport. A little game whose stakes are life and death. time to work we're in another world you said uh-huh and it looks like this baroness thinks you're the stealer of this world and that's not all she come the baroness and her beloved will want to be alone oh stealer stealer i thought i'd never see you again i was told you were dead oh darling But, but you are one of them, Cob Cobra, aren't you? How can you say that? You know whose side I'm really on. Oh, of course, amnesia. It's often a symptom of the bacterial infection. Y you, you mean you're like a, a double agent? You secretly work for the resistance? Uh, you better get my friend in here. Uh, I'm confused. You must believe us, Commander. We're not from this world! Do you think me stupid enough to believe such poppycock? For that insult, you will pay! With your lives! Robot snakes? <laughs> Specifically, boa constrictors to squeeze the very life from you! G.I. Joe will return after these messages. Now, back to G.I. Joe. Message. Foot 
loose now while he's distracted. What? According to my spies, Destro's captured more G.I. Joes. And again, he tries to conceal it from me. Get out of here! What? No! No! Hey, Hawk! These manacled gizmos must have shorted out, too! Talk about luck! Quick, find some weapons and let's get out of here. Another world? Are you both mad? Hey, we know it sounds nuts, but... Wait a minute. Steeler, my Steeler, has a tattoo on his right arm, not his left. Head. We're pretty sure your stealer really is dead. Oh, no! I'm sorry. <laughs> then this fantastic tale is true? You're really not resistance fighters like me? Lady, all we're fighting for now is to find our buddies and go back where we belong. Then... You'll have to play along with me. Come. Well, don't just stand there. Follow the lady. Destro, sir, those three Joes have just been captured by the Matrix, sir. And? And they are about to be delivered. How fortuitous! <laughs> Flint, barbecue and airtight, isn't it? Welcome! If he'd known we were coming, he'd have baked a cake. And left room for us in the oven. More G.I. Joes? Defectors, Destro. To our side. Ours, as in Cobra's? Ours, as in yours and mine. Face it, Des. Cobra Commander's tired of sharing the throne with you. He's building his own army to knock you out of the box. <laughs> We'd have defected to his team, but the Baroness won us over. His own army? We shall see about that. Tend to these prisoners, Baroness! I will, Destro. Where am I? Baroness calling His Highness the Emperor. Come in, sire. Yes, now what? You must act quickly, sire. Destro is moving to unseat you and claim sole power for himself. Oh, is that so? Okay, we're out. Now where to? Good question. Let it Jay! Over here! Hop on! I'll explain everything on the way to the proving grounds. Uh-oh. What's going on over there? I've just instigated the first Cobra Civil War, and I don't want a ringside seat for my handiwork. This is where we arrived, so the gateway to our dimension should be around here somewhere. Look, there it is. Come on, let's go home. Well, uh, Baroness... Uh... So, I'm going to lose you twice. You know, there's really no one waiting for me back there. Okay, let's move it. Flint, it really does matter whether Cobra wins or loses. I see that now, and I want a chance to do something about it. I'm staying here. Well, count me in too, old buddy. I ain't letting you hog all the glory. Uh, Flint, I heard what they did to me. I mean, the other clutch. And you want to stay, too? It'll be a challenge, rebuilding G.I. Joe here. You know, you may never be able to go home. Flint, the portal is closing. Lady J, jump for it. So long! 
Uh, it's hopeless, Duke. We're not going to find him. Alive, at any rate. Look. Yo, Duke! Hiya, Doc! You're back! But from where? It's a long story. Where are the others? Clutch, Grunt, and Steeler. That's an even longer story. There's some place where brave men are needed. Badly. Amen to that. Good luck, buddies. You deserve it. G.I. Joe will return after these messages.